Hello guys, it's Afonix again. On behalf of Afonix team, we extend our warmest gratitude to all fans and supporters of Afonix. However, if this is your first time here, kindly smash that red button and subscribe to Afronix. Don't forget to hit on that bell so that when a new update is being made, you will know. Once more, I say thank you. Our last tutorial was about Zuma Robot Line Follower. The link to that video is in the description below. Please check it out. Our today's video, we are going to do something called Night Light. So with that, let us go straight away and make a new project. Come. New project. Now let us call this one as night light. Next. Okay. So you go next. Okay. Next. So you know we will be creating flow charts project so we'll click on flowchart so we'll be using this component yes next here is our visual designer and here is our schematic capture okay here is the arduino board so we will be using some component that will be hooking with arduino and then it will sense light and how does this midnight light will look like basically it's going to be like this as an electrical engineer you have to be very mindful whenever you are designing a component and nowadays we are more concerned about components that is energy saving or power saving okay now let us see how does that mean in terms of light let us say for an example a room you are in your room means if it is not a daytime okay if it's not at night and no one is in the room then the light has to go off to keep or save energy all right so that is what we are going to model here and there are two sensors that we have to take into consideration here one of them is proximity sensor and the other is luminance sensor okay now let us take a look at what is proximity sensor and what is a luminance sensor according to wikipedia proximity sensor is a sensor able to detect the presence of nearby objects without any physical contact now this is done through the emission of electromagnetic fields okay using infrared and these are the infrared we have here and then one is for transmission and the other one is for receiving okay one transmit and the other one receive these two are infrared okay and then let us come to the application the application is enormous but let us look at the most common ones which is in smartphones and tablet computers okay you see proximity sensors are commonly used on mobile devices okay now what happened basically is that um have you ever wondered that when you are not using your phone it will go on a screen lock in an engineering term it is called sleep mode it happened because of proximity sensor means you are not using your phone for the main time so it has to save energy by going into a sleep mode another aspect here that that can intrigue you is when you made it, when you're making a call nowadays the smartphone that we are having whenever you dial a number and then put it closer to your ears you notice that the phone will go in a lock screen the reason being for you not to interfere mistakenly cut the call or go into another area because the phone will be touching your skin 
your ears for you not to go into another area or mistakenly drop the call so this is done with the help of proximity sensor now next let us look at our grove luminance sensor okay according to this wiki seed it says that the grove luminance sensor detects the intensity of ambient light on a surface area okay it uses this this luminance sensor can be used in application which requires automatic light adjustment in residential or commercial lightning that is what we are going to do today so now let us move straight into Proteus and hook up our circuits it's our visual designer so first we have to go and place this component you go to this Arduino right click then you go for add peripheral click on it go to this drop down check for Grove we have this one okay so we look for our component first we look for led we need led so which color would i go for let me take green okay click on add next we search for our luminance sensor our luminance sensor is here click on it and then say add okay next we look for our proximity sensor it's here 80 centimeter infrared proximity sensor so click on it say add so we are done say close so we have them here let me enable this okay so we have our component if you come to the schematic capture you see them all available here but we have a problem and the problem is that we have AO. this is connected to the analog pin zero and this one also is connected to analog pin zero of our Arduino so it means we have to change one so let us say we change this you double click on it and then you come to this connector ID click on the drop down we can choose A2 say OK okay so it has now changed because if you connect both to one pin doesn't make sense okay it will not work you have to connect them to an independent pin okay so we have these they are now being connected to different pins so let us go to our visual design it is now time for us to look at our flow chart but with that let me take you a little bit into how are we going to model our flow chart all right here is our flow chart it starts with a loop and ends but first let us look at certain conditions that must be met so these are the following conditions one is that someone must be nearby or must be present and also the place must be dark the room for example must be dark before the light is on so these are the two conditions that we have to take into consideration so the chart start to flow we read the distance if there's anyone in the room next we try to look at the light intensity in the room next we come to our decision side is there anyone present if it is no then the loop will run outside find it way to light off then the loop will be closed let us say that there is someone inside then it has to check for the second um, condition which is is it dark is it night time if it is no then the loop will run outside again the light will be off but if it is yes then it has to find its way what are we trying to do let there be light and there was light so this is the flow chart all right now it's time for us to hook up our circuit we don't need this one let me remove it okay bring this one at the center expand it let it be like here small okay next we have to sense the distance so the distance and bring it here okay. 
next is for us to uh, sense the luminance okay we have to read the luminance take this one drag it here there we have our decision to make we we'll drag our decision box we need two of them Good. then we need our LED LED need to be on at a particular point here and it has to be off at a particular point here let's see so now we have to connect our boxes just put your cursor here drag this line here it will automatically connect just click Take this one, bring it here, click, take this one, take this one, bring it here, click, good. Now it is time for us to edit our flowchart. Let me zoom a little bit so that I will see clearly. Okay, good. So for this distance, it will be giving us centimeter. Okay, for this one, it will give you nice value as dogs. Okay, so our first decision we have to check for locks. Let us say locks. Take this one, press enter, and we know that our um, at luminance, the light intensity goes from zero up to one thousand, of which zero being total darkness. Or pitch dark when 1000 means at maximum brightness so let us take somewhere around 300 or 200 that less than 200 let us take it as dark as the place has become dark so just put less than 300 press enter so that is done this other one um, proximity sensor this proximity sensor we are using the maximum distance it takes is 80 centimeter so let us bring it a little bit down that so when someone re come really close let it know that yeah there is someone in the room so let us just give it like 20 cent centimeter less than 20 centimeter let it be that yeah there is someone present in the room uh, above 20 centimeter or above let us take it that someone has left the room so we just say centimeter click on just say c click on c tab enter then say less than say 20 press ok so our circuit has been set it's now time for us to run the circuit click on run and then this message would show you can go again to the circuit the same place just give it a2 again then you click on run and allow this thing to compile boom it's done compiling okay so now let us go to schematic capture this is the area we are interested in let us view this part now here is our light intensity sensor and then here is our proximity sensor here is our led if we bring this as you can see this is a daytime and here it is 20 in here so there is no one in the house there is no one in the room right so let us bring this into night time now it is pitch dark the light is still off why because there is no one in the room so if we say let us increase let us decrease this a little bit meaning there is a so there is someone present in if we go down you see the light is on wow so if we increase again oh, after some time slowly the light will go off you see now if you decrease this there is someone in the room the light is on and let us go into daytime 
immediately it reaches a certain point it sends the light boom the, it is daytime so the light will go off so guys this is what i have for you thank you for watching this video see you in the next